quantity. Every major diet on the market today is a calorie restriction diet or a semi-starvation diet, which means you're going to be hungry and starving, and that's not sustainable long-term. A fun fact you may not know about me, I used to be a morbidly obese pre-diabetic, and I used this simple diet that I'm telling you about to reverse my pre-diabetes and return my body fat percentage to near normal. Number one, insulin. Now, insulin has hundreds of functions in your body, but it is the main fat storage hormone. Insulin's made in your pancreas and beta cells, and your body secretes it in response to an elevated blood sugar. Now, how do you optimize your insulin level and return it back to a, a low normal level? That's the sweet spot for fat burning. You're going to reduce your total carbohydrate intake a day. Some people can reduce it down to 100 total grams of carbs a day and that works great. Other people have to turn it down even more to 50 total grams. Some people even 20 or even lower. You need to avoid all sugars and anything that turns into sugar. And whether that is a jelly donut or a soda or a glass of fruit juice, or bread, or pasta, or rice. All these things turn immediately into sugar in your system, spike your blood sugar, spike your insulin, and turn off your fat burning. You're going to replace all of those carbohydrates, which turn into sugar, with plenty of good healthy fats and good healthy proteins. Hormone number two is leptin. Now this hormone is made in fat smell cells, fat cells, and in cells in your small intestine. It reduces your appetite and it makes you feel full. To optimize leptin, you're going to avoid all inflammatory foods. And for most people, this is all the grains. This is industrial seed oils like canola, like soybean, like corn oil, like safflower oil, like margarine, like uh, vegetable shortening. All those things are inflammatory and they're going to mess your leptin level up. Also, you want to eat more fatty fish and more fatty animals. The fat and protein in these move your leptin in the right direction. The last thing you want to do to optimize your leptin is get plenty of good quality sleep. Ghrelin. This hormone is made in your stomach and in the small intestinal cells. It is a hunger hormone. It tells your brain, hey, you're hungry, it's time to eat. You are going to avoid all sugars, and that can range anywhere from skim milk to a tortilla wrap to a jelly donut to two slices of whole wheat bread. They all turn into sugar, right? All bread breaks down into sugar, all rice, all potatoes, all grains break down into sugar. You have to avoid those to get your ghrelin in the sweet spot. You also want to make sure you're eating plenty of good healthy proteins and good healthy fats. That's going to also optimize your ghrelin level. Hormone number four is cortisol. Now you may have heard of this, it's called the stress hormone. Cortisol, it does many, many hundreds of things in the human body, it's actually normal to have it. Uh, it's not a bad thing unless it's chronically elevated, then that's a problem. If it's chronically elevated, this is gonna cause you to overeat, cause you to stress eat, and cause you to store more fat. How do you optimize your cortisol level? Number one, you're not going to calorie restrict or eat smaller portions. This is stressful to your body and it causes your cortisol level to elevate. You're gonna get plenty of good quality sleep. This will help your cortisol level be lower. Annotated and summarized easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.